resets the Windows Update components. Let's imagine you cannot download the latest Windows updates. That sucks. And there can be a few reasons for this. But the most important thing that you should know is that today I will try to fix the most common errors and problems. And most likely after this, you will have an opportunity to get the latest Windows updates again. So let's get it started. So fellas, here we are in Windows 11. Also, all of these methods will work on Windows 10 as well. For the example, you cannot get the latest updates or you have problems, errors, etc. Today, we will fix these common issues. First of all, if you have some problem in Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can try to use the basic feature which is available in Windows 10 and Windows 11, Troubleshooter. So you can type trouble and it will automatically show you troubleshoot settings. You can click on it. In this window, you need to navigate to other troubleshooters. Click on it. As you can see, we can fix a lot of other problems, but in our case, we need to fix a Windows update. So you can click on run. In this case, you just need to wait until it will find the problem and then probably it will fix it. I can say for sure that this is miracle because in most cases Windows Troubleshooter doesn't help to fix most problem. But in this situation, as you can see, we have next message. The troubleshooter made some changes to your system. Try attempting the task you were trying to do before. Problems found. Check for Windows update issues. So in this case, we can close this window. But as I previously said, it doesn't always work. And that's why I will show you one useful open open source utility. First of all, we need to open our browser. In my case, I will use Google Chrome browser. Then you need to type next. Reset Windows Update Tool. Reset Windows Update Tool. Press Enter. On this page, you will find this website. Link I will leave in the video description. So I will just click on it. And what do we see here? Reset Windows Update Tool Troubleshooting for Windows Update. The power of the command line. This free and open source tool implements function through command line. It's able to delete temporary files, scan, detect and repair corruption with the Windows system image, scan all protected system files and replace any corrupted files, change invalid values in the Windows registry, reset WinSock settings and more. This is a complete complete troubleshooting tool that can be generated with Windows updates. Simply to understand, this utility will do all the job, which means it will be not necessary to type manually every single command to fix Windows update in the command line, for example. Let's download this utility. I will click here on download. On this page, we have an option to download the portable version and other versions. I will download the latest portable version, which means it will run as portable application. Here we have 11.1.0 version. I will click on download. I successfully downloaded archive. Now I can click here and open folder. Show in folder. Also, we can close browser. On this stage, we just need to unzip the archive. Everything is very simple. You just need to click on the rightmost button. And even if you do not have WinRAR, you can use a basic feature which is integrated in Windows 10 and Windows 11 as well. Extract all. I will click here. Extract. Just wait a sec. And voila, we successfully unzipped the archive. So now we can open this folder, portable. Please take a close look because here we have an utility which will fix update problem in most cases. So to run this utility, it is very important to click on the rightmost button and run this program as administrator. It is necessary. I will click on it. Select yes. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. In this window, you can select the most suitable language for you. For the example, I will select English. I will press zero. Press enter. On this stage, you may see terms and condition of use. And do you want to continue with this process? You need to type Y and press enter. 
Now we can use this utility. As you can see, it provides a lot of different options. To use each of these options, you need to type the number of the option which you want to use. For the example, resets the Windows Update components. So we need to type 2 and press enter. As you can see, it's stopping the Windows Update services and that's normal, don't worry about that. On this stage, if you will see this message, do you want to continue this operation? You need to manually type Y and press enter. During the process, please do not interfere, be patient, take your time and then you will see the final message. The operation completed successfully, press any key to continue. I will press enter. So we fixed the first problem, we reset the Windows Update components. If you want to set up your system for stable work, I recommend to use other options. For example, the third option deletes the temporary files in Windows. So I will hit 3 and press enter. The operation completed successfully, press any key to continue, yes it was fast. Press enter. Let's take a close look at the number 6, runs the system files checker tool. Type 6, press enter. Scan your system files and to repair missing or corrupted system files. It is very convenient because if you have some corrupted files, it will repair them and most likely after this process, everything will work stably. I want to know that at the moment we see verification process 28-29% complete and we need to wait until it will load to 100% and then we can proceed to the next option. And again, we see a happy message the operation completed successfully, press any key to continue. I will press enter. Also, I recommend to select number 7, scans the image for component store corruption. So I will select number 7, press enter. 100% complete, the component store is repairable, press enter. Now we need to enter number 8, which is checks whether the image has been flagged as corrupted. Type 8, press enter. This option literally takes only one second. Press enter. This time we will type number 10, cleans up the superseded components. Here we can find more info but in detail. Clean up the superseded components and reduce the size of the component store. Good, press any key. Number 11 is also quite convenient, deletes any incorrect registry values. I will type number 11. I have a great news for you, before proceeding to this process, it automatically made a backup, which is really great. Now we can press enter. My friends, now we will go through two very important options, number 12 and number 13. Repairs resets Vinsock settings and reset Microsoft Windows Store. So I will type number 12, press enter. Surprisingly, to complete, this option only takes a few seconds. I will press enter. And the last option for today, number 13. As you can see, it works with Microsoft Store and that's why it appears in this window. So now we can close the Microsoft Store. After all this process, I strongly recommend to close this window and restart your system. It is very important. So click here and restart your machine. And voila, as you can see, we can get the latest updates for Windows 11 and I hope it will work for Windows 10 as well. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to disable auto updates in Windows 11.